Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to use Mixamo to create animations, or I selected two animations. As you see here, I have the walking animation, and I also have the standing animation. What I am going to do is make these uh, image sequences to import into a Teachable Machine. So this is a part of my uh, ISTE Artificial Intelligent course that I am learning to develop new workflows. And here you see me cycling through the animation. So here's the stand animation. What I'm going to do is using a tool called Screencast-O-Matic, I'm going to re just basically record only the part of the screen where you see the animation. I've included links for Screencast-O-Matic below and Teachable Machine. So you can uh, basically try and replicate this. As you can see with Teachable Machine, you can't put video. You can only put image sequences. So that means I record the video and I am going to use a tool to convert it into an image sequence and then upload it. So I decided to use Premiere Pro since we have access to it at our school. There are other editing software that you could find out. I can't tell you really which one. But you see the video that I recorded with, uh, with my Screencast-O-Matic. I brought it in. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export. Um, I had some problems here with the uh, how to export the image sequence uh, showing it during the video. So I apologize. But it's really st uh, standard for uh, Premiere. You just basically file, export. And so, so it's just a standard sequence of images that you import. And uh, you have to bring them into Teachable Machine. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with video yet, and uh, maybe never will, but that's maybe the nature of the way the AI understands the different uh, pieces. So here you see in the folder, I created a folder uh, where I, I made a folder structure where I have one of the animations, here's the walk, and here I have the other animation, which is the stand. So I made sure to separate these because there's quite a lot of photos there and it can get unwieldy. And then I simply click import uh, photos and um, do it for both classes. So my first class is uh, going to be a stand or uh, sorry, this one is uh, um, lying down and the other one is walk. So uh, once I've done that, I basically click the learn button and you have to have both classes uploaded first. So you have your stand and your walk. And I didn't include it in this video, but you see the middle column, there's a training button. You click on that, and that's what it allows you to uh, train it. And you see where the webcam is. What your students can do is stand in front of there and emulate the stand uh, animation. And if it works, the uh, AI will say it's a standing. If, it, uh, if you are uh, doing standing up or walking, it'll tell you. And it'll if it says 100%, it means it can identify it with 100% confidence meaning that your video grab and your image sequence was really well done all right so if there's any questions please leave comments below and if anybody comes up with new ideas let me know my goal is to bring this into unreal engine as you can see i have the mannequin from unreal engine already built in so my hope is there's a way to bring in this ai data which is something i'm going to try to explore further in this course thanks